Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a really lovely week. This week we are going to talk about a new challenge that I'm starting tomorrow and that is the Mark Carroll 8 week challenge. So if you watched my video on my favourite Instagram accounts you would have seen that I had Mark Carroll down as one of them and he's an Australian coach and he runs like a couple of challenges a year that you can do as either builds or cuts. Most people tend to do the cut option and that's what I'm going to be doing. Before we get into what the challenge is and what you get for it and you know the kind of upfront review of the challenge I'm going to talk for a little bit about why I decided to do this challenge so if you're not really interested in that I'll put a timestamp on the screen so that you can just fast forward to that bit if all you want to know about is the kind of details of the challenge. If you're going to stick around for my sob story then <laughs> let's, let's go for it. I just want to make a content warning as well that I am going to talk a lot in this video through weight numbers, uh, calorie numbers, macros. So if you're not in a place where that's going to be valuable for you, then please feel free to just skip this video entirely. And of course the sun comes out. Piss off. If you've followed my channel for a while, you might know because I've probably mentioned it before, but I've struggled with my weight. I say struggled, but I've been overweight for a long time, right? I've been overweight my entire adult life but particularly in 2018 I injured my back and it was like so bad that I couldn't I could barely like walk around so that you know lack of kind of exercise and lack of being able to exercise coupled with the fact that I'm a huge comfort and emotional eater meant that I put on a lot of weight in the kind of late 2017 through 2018 I put on about 14 kilos in just over a year and that saw me at about 100 kilos. I decided you know that I'd had enough of being depressed basically about my back so I put a lot of effort into trying to you know improve my back health, get back into exercise and start to lose some weight but I personally find it a lot easier to put on weight than I do to lose weight and I know not everybody's like that but <laughs> that's just how it goes for me. So I have only just recently got back down to the weight that I was before I before I put on lots of weight. So this for me is now the weight that I've basically been for as long as I can remember. But even before all of that I as I said, I've been overweight for basically my entire teenage and adult life. But I finally feel like I've got to a point where I am committed to losing weight for my health. I know what I need to do to get there. I'm actively doing that. So I'm, you know, now trying to get back on track to get into a healthy weight. And it's not that I feel particularly unhealthy now, if anything, I'm probably you know, in totality, the healthiest I've ever been. But I do also know that there is a lot of evidence to support the fact that if you carry more body fat, particularly visceral abdominal fat like I do, that that is a marker for poor health later on in life. And that is something that I just want to avoid. And as I said, I do carry most of my fat around my middle, which is, I think, commonly accepted to be the kind of worst type of body fat so there's that to consider as well. That's genetic, you can't control where you store your fat and where you don't, but it is something to bear in mind. My specific goals are, I wanna get to about 72 kilos, which according to the BMI scale is at the top end of healthy weight. I've set it there, like I said in my body image video, because I don't actually know what I look like at that weight, and that seemed like a decent, a decent starting point. But I also do, want to get to a 80 centimeter waist measurement, which is just commonly recommended in terms of any waist measurements. Above that is a bit of a warning sign that you may be carrying more visceral fat than is healthy. I have no idea if 72 kilos and 80 centimeters, if those two numbers <laughs> will happen for me at the same time. I might end up needing to lose a bit more weight to reach that waist measurement or I might reach that waist measurement before then. 
I don't know, I don't really care. I'm just gonna kind of do things that'll get me in the right direction and I'll see how I get on after that. So I'm currently at 84.6 kilos and about a 97 centimeter waist measurement. And in terms of what, another reason why I've picked to do a specific challenge is I find that time bounded fat loss periods work quite well for me. The, the problem with having like an open ended fat loss goal for me is it just feels like it's never ending. And especially when you have got uh, a quite a long way to go in terms of fat loss, you know, I'm not gonna be at my goal weight at the end of the eight weeks. It's useful to have periods where you're in a fat loss periods where you're in a diet break or at maintenance it'll take you longer in the lot you know it'll take you longer in the long run to get to your goal but i think for just some from a like mental well-being perspective and the toll it takes on your body it's best to kind of chop it up into chunks i find anyway and then lastly i've been following mark for a little while he has definitely got a lot of knowledge and experience and I just think he, he certainly comes across anyway as having his heart in the right place and just wanting people to be successful and I like the vibe that I get from him. So now let's just get into the specifics of the challenge. The first thing you probably want to know is how much does it cost. Uh, it's 99 US dollars which works out as about £75 depending on what exchange rate you take. And what you get for that is a training plan hours and hours and hours of educational video content like I can't explain to you how many hours of video content you get get access to a private Facebook group where you can pair up with people or get you know some help some advice or even just to have somewhere to go to help keep you motivated the video content isn't massively science-based and I don't mean that it's not supported by science he's not like selling snake oil or anything but it is quite high level in terms of the detail of the content, which for most people is probably gonna be about right. I personally like to know the studies that have led to that conclusion or you know what trials that was based on, but I think that's just me. Most people don't really care. They just wanna know what they need to do. So yeah, as I said, you get a training program. The training program is either a gym-based one, a sort of home gym-based one, and then a body weight training program. Annoyingly, none of those really quite fit for what I've got in terms of my ability to exercise at home. A body weight one doesn't really, isn't really gonna cut the mustard for me, I think, in terms of resistance. And the home gym one relies, relies on you having a, a barbell, which I don't have. So I think I'm gonna have to get a bit creative and kind of try and operate somewhere between the home gym one and the body weight only one. And I'm gonna give it a go for the first two weeks. If I don't like how it's set up, I'm gonna go back to my Stronger by the Day program because it's ultimately just a resistance-based training program. You're trying to build muscle or at least maintain muscle. I'm hoping that the gyms open at some point during the eight weeks and then I'll be able to try the gym program, which if that if that does happen, I'll probably just carry on with the gym program for the rest of the six weeks or however long it is that I end up getting, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it and I'll let you know what I end up doing. In terms of the kind of key features and what I'm gonna need to do to be successful, main one's a calorie deficit, need to make sure I'm hydrated, I'm going to be doing uh, four resistance-based sessions a week, two cardio sessions, which I will either do as a run or hit, probably one of each, to be honest. One of the things that I do need to focus on now I've worked out what my calories and macros are going to be is I am going to try upping my fat intake slightly because based on Mark's recommendations, I'm not meeting the kind of minimum fat requirement. So I'm gonna try it. And one of the things that he recommends as well is trying to really focus on having a really strong start. So I am gonna aim for within the first two weeks to be 100% compliant, which is not normally, I think, what I would suggest to people. I like to be a bit more flexible, but to try and, you know, really start strong, my goal is that the first two weeks I'm gonna hit you know, every single, tick every single box, but that does mean that I will need to up my fat intake slightly and as a result, drop my carbs just so I can keep my calories, you know, where they need to be. You do get options whether to cut or build and they are also tiered options. 
so you really can tailor the challenge to you and what you think you'll be successful doing and what your what your goals are it's not a meal plan it's flexible dieting so it get, talks you through calculating calories and macros and you know how you can adjust those for where you're where you're starting at so actually in terms of helping you to work out what your calories and macros should look like the information on that is really really helpful i'm not going to tell you what the specifics of the step requirement or the the calorie deficit is or the macros or anything like that because that is all content that you get as a result of the challenge and it's it's not it's not my information to give away so one of the questions or probably the only question you're actually interested in is is it worth the money i think the answer is yes but I have got a few caveats to that i would say the longer answer is yes it's worth the money if you are a beginner to all of this if you're looking to make a change to your body i.e you're looking to start resistance training and you want to lose some fat this is absolutely perfect. The amount of information that is like consolidated all into one place is amazing. It's broken down into really manageable and bite-sized chunks. But I've got to be honest, I haven't learned anything new yet. It's consolidated a lot of the information that I already had, but based on the probably 50% of the videos that I've worked my way through, I haven't actually really learned anything revolutionary. But that's because I've been interested in muscle in muscle building and fat loss for about 18 months now and I've consumed a lot of information in that time. So what this challenge and the content allows you to do is to condense that like 18 month learning period into eight weeks or however quickly you get through the information so purely from the information you get perspective if you're already on a strength-based program you already understand the mechanics of fat loss you're probably not going to get a huge amount out of it in terms of educational information having said that though there are some i think psychological benefits to having paid money to join something having a structured program, having a bit of accountability in terms of a start and a finish period. And there's a $5,000 cash prize, which, you know, everybody wants money, right? Nobody's gonna turn it down. So I took some before pictures this morning. These are the ones that I'll be using to officially enter the challenge. As I said, I weighed in this morning at 84.6 kilos with a 97 centimeter waist measurement, which actually, because I carry all of my fat in my middle, is gonna be the most useful one. The challenge ends on the 4th of April, so that's when I'll be taking my after pictures and I will be making part two of this video on the 11th of April. So definitely subscribe if you wanna make sure you're around for that. And in that video, I'll talk you through how I got on, you know, how much weight I lost, what, what, which of the training programs I managed to provide, all that sort of stuff. Wish me luck, and I will see you soon.